Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you tarot and witchcraft is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my lovelies. Let's get into your mid-month love reading for all zodiac signs. We're going to start off here with Pisces since it is your season Pisces. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. How are you guys doing? Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Let's get it. Let's see what's going on. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. Allow us to open up as a vessel of communication. Let it be you who speaks through me. Allow me to see, hear, sense, view, and receive the messages loud and clearly. We're going to begin here with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love and romance, give me three cards representing their new love and three cards representing their old flame. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Happy birthday to you, Pisces, out there. All right. Let's begin here. Let's see what's going on in your love life. We are going to start off here with new love. First card here is the Ten of Cups. So there is emotional fulfillment to be experienced or that will be experiencing in your current reality. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be a connection that will begin uh, to take form. For some of you guys, you may be dealing already, obviously, with uh, someone that you feel emotionally connected to, someone that you feel like you guys are in the same energy, in the same vibe, um, almost like you guys have known each other for quite a while, Pisces. The Hierophant does speak about higher elevation of commitment or... Um, the stepping stones to the manifestation of a commitment now you do have here the seven of swords so i feel like for some of you guys this is an outside energy um so in regards to this new love or new person that you're dealing with i feel like they are definitely wanting um a higher level of commitment you may already be experiencing like you know becoming official or being officially asked out um, with the Seven of Swords, though, I feel that there's someone in your surrounding that may currently be influencing or affecting the connection. Now, this could be you or this could be with your person. Um, so it speaks to me about a person from the past, someone that doesn't have necessar uh, necessarily good intentions. It could mean that someone from your person or the person that you're dealing with may have um, recently either started communicating or um, this person from their past could have recently reached out to them through social media, um, communicating or wanting to open communication only because they heard or they're aware of this connection or they are aware that they're kind of moving on. I don't feel like it's an invitation. So what I mean by that is if there's been a feeling of your partner, uh, not necessarily being present, um, Maybe communication has diminished a little bit or it's a little bit more dry than usual. Um, nothing to worry or concern yourself about. I just feel like they have probably felt that there was unresolved feelings there. However, they're quickly going to come to the realization that they've moved on, um, that they're going to be honest with themselves and that they're ready to start this new connection or to formalize this new connection. So I don't feel necessarily that the third person or the person in the outside energy is greatly impacting. I do feel that it is uh, current. So it could have been something that they are either currently experiencing or will be experiencing in the next coming days. Um, but like I said, I feel like this is just uh, kind of helping them in a way, nudging them towards, yes, it's time to move on. It's time to begin something new and um, to basically it will ultimately bring them or draw them closer to you, Pisces. So um, like I said, if you feel like they've been a bit distant or they may even express to you that they uh, recently got reached out by someone and if they are telling you, just know that nothing negative uh, can come from that. They're being honest and straightforward because they are focusing on stabilizing this connection with you, okay? All right, my lovelies, now for those regarding old love or an ex, ex-partner, we have the Five of Swords, Six of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. So there is a refusal of moving on. Like I said, for those of you guys that are dealing with new love, you may still be dealing with an ex-partner, a person that's not ready to move on, uh, especially because there's a bit of panic mode of feeling like you're slipping away. Um... 
there is a refusal of not wanting to accept what is, which is that you've either disconnected from this connection or that you are no longer energetically connected to them. Um, I feel like they're trying the best they can to sabotage whatever connection. Um, if there is a reaching out or if the person communicates, because I do see communication, hasty communication, it could be for some of you guys, um, a bit disrespectful type of communication. Um, just know that they're trying to get a rise out of you. They're trying to create doubts within you of this new connection or this new person you're dealing with. Um, but ultimately what they're telling you here is to uh, not allow outside interference to affect the current relationship or the current uh, connection that you're building. I feel like this person is not remorseful of what they've done or how or why the relationship ended. I feel like they're not taking any type of self-responsibility. And I feel like it has a lot to do with either their friends or family that could have potentially gotten too involved in the connection or in the relationship. Um, like I said, if there is communication, I feel like it's not positive communication. My advice would be to completely shut the door on that. Uh, don't allow people to see from outside the window into your relationship because then they feel entitled. Um, so if there's communication or you're still dealing with the next, as an example, while you're dealing with someone new, um, just know that you're just giving them ammo uh, to create doubts later on in the connection with your new interest or with your new partner. So my advice would be to completely shut the door on the past and move on. All right, now let's go to Aries. Let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. Give me three cards to represent their new love and three cards to represent old flame. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's going on with you, Aries, out there. All right, here we go. All right, Aries, we're starting off here with the Nine of Swords the queen of wands and the ace of pentacles so what they're telling me here aries is if you're dealing with someone that you feel like you don't really know where you stand with the with the person i think it has a lot to do with your you know stress or past experiences that you've had in the past with previous relationships there are still some unhealed parts of you um that haven't fully healed so there is a lot of insecurity but i feel like it's insecurity from you, that that comes off from the insecurities that you have within yourself um one advice i would give is as an example if you're dealing with a new person and they constantly bring the person from the past or the person they were with they continuously keep bringing them up <clears throat> it is important to bring that to their attention because sometimes we do that on a subconscious level without being fully aware and one of the ways you can do this, um, Aries, would be to stand your ground in, in that aspect. Hey, you know, if we're, you know, trying to get to know each other, I think that bringing up past relationships or past experiences is not necessarily a good thing because we're trying, we're kind of drawing that energy into the present. Um, but if it's something in regards to you and the doubting or the feeling like you're not really sure where they stand with you. Um, being completely honest and transparent, letting them know exactly what it is that you're looking for, Aries, I feel that is going to solidify your placement and the self-awareness that you have that will immediately make them make it clear as day that they're wanting something long-term with you. We have the Queen of uh, Wands here and the Ace of Pentacles. So this progressively does build into something long-term or it could potentially turn into something long term, but we need to really push out the energy of the past or the energy of the insecurities that you've experienced in the past so that it doesn't affect your recent connection. All right, my lovelies, now let's look into the old flame or person from the past, your ex. So I definitely see them looking to you, uh, <coughs> excuse me, there's definitely a feeling of wanting to reconnect. I do see some type of reaching out. So you may be hearing from them. That's if you're not already hearing from them through either communic fast communication, could be text, could be social media. But I really do see them wanting to come back, wanting to um, 
there is a feeling of hopefulness here uh, on their part. And I feel like they feel right now that there is a lot of history or that there was a genuine connection here that could, you know, make it more difficult for you guys to move on from each other. Have they moved on at this point? No, I feel like they're waiting for you to give them that other opportunity. So basically the, um, basically the, the ball is in your court areas. I feel like it's really up to you. Um, with the six of cups though, I feel like if they are reaching out or if they are coming back around, trying to communicate, trying to open communication with you, I feel they're being genuine and they're coming from an authentic place. It's not because, oh, I lost them and my pride. Now I don't want to see them move on. Let me reach out. It's not that type of energy. What I'm seeing here is I really miss my friend or my best friend. I miss the person that really created the solid foundation that I felt in this connection. Whatever happened outside of the breakup or the separation, I feel like they, are, they may be remorseful of it and they're finding or wanting to find ways to come back into your life and to build because we have the three of wands here and we have the king of wands which is holding a wand so three and one would create the four which is the stability and the foundation so i feel like they're trying to rebuild on the genuine connection or friendship that you guys had at some point all right my lovelies now let's go to taurus let's see what's going on with taurus if you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment, let me know so that we can continue doing these videos. Um, as you guys know, I'm going to be more proactive on my YouTube channel. It's really difficult because I do deal with a lot of people on an everyday basis, not just consultations, but spell work. Um, and it's basically running 24-7. And to do the videos, it, it does take more time. Not that I'm not able to do that, but I have seen that YouTube doesn't really promote me at this point and the views have majorly declined. So it really does help if you guys like, share and subscribe to my channel so that I can continue doing these videos for you guys. All right, now let's go to Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus regarding their love life. Let's look into the new love and old flame as well. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Three cards for new love and three cards for old flame. Here we go. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, here we go, Taurus. We have the Page of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, so there was some type of misfiring or miscommunication. For some of you guys, you could be experiencing... Um, that this person that you were dealing with could have potentially pulled away or there's a bit of distancing that's happening. With the Page of Wands, though, I do feel that there is communication that's going to be coming in or you will be hearing from them. However, with the Queen of Swords, you're highly being um, advised to try the best you can to really guard yourself, meaning to figure out if a person is genuinely interested in you. Um, pay attention to consistency. Because if they reach out or if they text you and then you don't hear from them in the next like two, three days and then all of a sudden they're like love bombing you again, then that's a major red flag. What the Queen of Swords is here to tell you is make decisions about this connection based on what, what makes sense in your head, not so much your emotions or your heart because it could be deceiving you at this point. With the Queen of Swords, you have to be analytical, pay attention to the consistency and if you don't see that they meet your requirements then it's time to chop it off uh it's time to pretty much break that connection so that you don't end up feeling depleted of energy because you're constantly in your head about this connection okay all right taurus now let's go to old love <clears throat> so we have the Queen of Cups here with the Ten of Wands and the Star card. They are still clearly haven't moved on from you, Taurus. There is a feeling of wanting to um, wanting to reconnect or wanting to come back into your life. I feel like there was something that your ex could have experienced since the breakup or since the separation where they feel like they are overburdened or like you made their life much more easier 
Um, it could be as simplistic as emotional wise, like you were their support system and they don't have that anymore and they're becoming overwhelmed with that. For others of you, it could just be that there is major remorse here. There's a feeling of, you know, they gave me unconditional love and at this point I didn't appreciate it. They're giving me the cold shoulder. What is it that I can possibly do to try to win them over? The Ten of Wands with the Star card is the desire of wanting to come out of that experience or that energy of being overburdened and regret or remorse to having hope or being hopeful about wanting to reconnect with you or wanting to come back into your life. I don't see deceptive energy. I feel like they are genuinely coming to the understanding that for some of you guys, you could have been the best thing that ever happened to them. For others of you, it could be the understanding that they would never uh, find in another person what they found in you and they constantly keep seeking that. Um, so whether it's the feeling of how you make them feel is what I'm hearing. So for some of you guys, it could be that they have dated, um, but at this point they just don't feel the connection or they don't feel how you make them feel when you were in their lives. So there is a desire here of wanting to go back in time, of wanting to reconnect so that we can get it right this time is the type of energy that's coming through. But they're definitely holding on to hope. <clears throat> I don't see communication opening up probably till the beginning of April for some of you. All right, now let's go to Gemini. Let's see what's going on with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. New love and old flame. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on in their love life? You guys definitely stay tuned for the video that we've been working on for Pluto's um, major Pluto uh, energy that is going to be um, going into Aquarius. I'm definitely building a video for you guys. Um, if you guys are interested, definitely stay tuned as it's going to give you a lot of information and it is a video that you'll be able to come back to and watch it for the next coming years. <clears throat> All right. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. New love and old flame. Here we go. All right, Gemini's. We have here the Empress card, the Strength card. Wow. And the Ace of Swords. So there is a connection here that is definitely seeing, there's a lot of physical connection here, you guys, a lot of passion, a lot of intensity. Um, and I feel like there is a clearing of energy for this week. What I mean by that is there is, I feel like it's been hot and heavy or the connection was immediate or the physical attraction was immediate, but I feel like in the next coming week or so, there's going to be an opening of honesty in regards to where they want to lead or where they want to take this connection or this relationship. Um, I feel like it has great potential here for some of you guys. You may be dealing with a Libra. For others of you, you may be dealing with a Leo or a lot of air energy, Gemini, like yourself, Aquarius, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius type of energy here. Um, but what they are saying here is that this uh, does have the promise for uh, something that has potential. Um, they're definitely seeing you in a very different light. They're seeing you as the end all be all with the strength card. They definitely see you as a person of character, a person that is very passionate about what you're doing, about what uh, you're doing or bringing to the world type of energy. This is the type of energy that when someone really sees you as a person that knows exactly who you are. Um, and that's definitely very attracted to them. With the Ace of Swords, there is an opening of communication or honesty, heart-to-heart -heart type of conversation that will be experienced in the next coming weeks. All right, now in regards to old love here, we have two, two, and the King of Cups. Well, <laughs> they are clearly still in their feelings about you, Gemini. I feel that there was a juggling for some of you guys. You could have been dealing um, with them, like reaching out, still communicating, like playing off of your emotions, uh, but not being consistent with it. And the reason is because the juggling usually indicates 
juggling not necessarily two people but the juggling of like kind of manipulation right i'm not sure what what it is that i want i'm not sure if i want to go back but let me let me you know throw you this and have you take a bite of this and pretty much keep you in the back burner in case things don't work out or unless you know things from something new doesn't come along then i know that gemini's there and of course gemini's not going to put up with that right so they seen that this manipulation was uh, quickly um, being either deciphered or you were able to see through that bullshit. And at this point, it's like, I can't juggle or play with your emotions anymore. So it's either I'm all in or I'm like not going to even bother. Um, I don't see communication happening. I feel like if anything, um, you may get random text or random communication but it's not consistent and it has more to do like i said trying to have you cling on to the hope that it may be something or that maybe we can revisit the past um but i don't feel like it, it's basically empty promises is what i'm hearing so i as an advice would give you just to shut the door on this don't allow people to play with your emotions or to allow you to think that they're wanting something when they know clearly that they don't know what it is that they want at this point. All right, Gemini. Now let's go to Cancer. Let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love, give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Here we go, Cancer. Let's see what's going on with you. Let's take a deep dive in regards to new love and old love. All right, with the new love, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Nine of Swords. So <laughs> there was a non-reciprocation in this connection i feel like someone in this connection was coming on a bit too strong this could have been you cancer or this could have been the person you were dealing with where now it almost feels like there's a lot of inconsistencies like maybe their communication kind of has stopped or it stops and then they reach out the next two days and they're consistent and then it goes back to square one there's a feeling of just not having clarity and what they're telling you is at this point, this is going to go wherever you decide it's going to go, Cancer. So what I mean by that is if you're wanting something to come from this connection, then you need to be very straightforward about what it is that you want and let them know that you're not playing and you're not wasting your time on anything that is not beneficial for you. So this is the energy of it's time to be selfish, Cancer, and to create boundaries because the Five of Pentacles indicates the lack of of direction with the chariot right there's there's inconsistency where are we going where is this headed um you communicate but then you don't and then i'm missing you and then you know you reach out and i'm like frustrated i don't want to hear from you so there is a lot of inconsistency here but with the chariot right at the center it still has the potential to become whatever it is that you want it to be but with creating boundaries with you being selfish about your energy, about your time, and about your effort. So what they're telling you is, if they're not giving you the time of day, then it's time to let them go. Stop wasting your time. Stop texting them just because you feel lonely. Uh, stop you know, texting them back just because they thought about you. And then you text them right away, and then you don't hear from them until two, three hours later. Those are mind games. And at this point, what they're telling you is take your power back, Cancer. Um, like I said, create boundaries. And if they cannot meet your expectations, then it's time to let them go. A lot of the times people play these mind games, right? This manipulation that goes back and forth um, only so that you can become more emotionally invested, right? Emotional investment through attachment. So you got to see above that. And it's easier to walk away right now than it is, as an example, holding on to something for a year, two years, because then you're really emotionally invested. So what they're telling you is make yourself a priority. You're the price, Cancer. Set boundaries. If they cannot respect those boundaries, then let them go, because this is creating a lot of anxiety within you and doubt about yourself. 
All right, now with the ex-partner here, Eight of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Nine of Wands. So I see communication happening for some of you guys. You may hear, you may have already heard from your ex, but I do see them communicating in the next coming week or so. There is a desire to want to rekindle or to want to come back into the relationship. How can we fix it? How can we make it better? I feel like this person has really gone through the ringer. So for some of them, they are dealing with a lot of karmic energy, a lot of karmic cycles that they've been experiencing. There's some type of awareness that's happening here. Like, yes, I've been going through it. And it probably has a lot to do with the treatment that I did to you, Cancer, or I just didn't appreciate you or I took you for granted and I am not willing to do that anymore. I want to show you. Um, so I definitely do see communication and opening up. I see them little by little coming in. So it could be like a message of, hey, Cancer, how are you doing? You know, you just came to my mind and I decided to reach out. Um, nothing major of professing their feelings, but I feel like it's a combination of where it's going. It will end with them telling you, can we work it out? Can we fix it? Can we, you know, stabilize this connection again? Um, there is a feeling of not wanting to let go just yet. All right, Cancer. Now let's go to Leo. Let's see what's going on with Leo. <clears throat> Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love and romance, give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Leo's. All right, here we go. Let's get into it. All right, new love. Oof, Tower, Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Leo, some of you guys could have recently became single. Um, I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at the fact that a lot of the times when we are dealing with relationships that are extremely toxic, there is a cycle that that comes with it, right? An ending cycle. And in that ending cycle, a lot of people refuse to accept that ending cycle. So we keep holding on. And it's like you're holding on to something that is just not going to work. It's not for you. And the moment you realize that, the moment you're ready to let go, boom, a new person comes in. And it's like so sudden and so unexpected. And it's not really unexpected. It's just that it's been long in the making where you should have moved on a while ago. That's the type of energy that I'm feeling for some of you guys uh, that are dealing with someone new. It could have been that you just came out of a relationship or it could be that they just came out of a relationship where you feel like the connection is strong. You feel like you guys have a lot of things in common, but there is some type of fear of it's too soon. So again, it could be you or it could be them <coughs> that just recently experienced this where there is a feeling of there wasn't really a lot of time of solitude or a lot of time of like being single. So there is a questioning, an underlying questioning of am I ready? Um, with the Queen of Cups here and the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like there may be some temporary separation that happens only because you or they will be trying to figure out if they're ready, which they are and you are if you're going through this, Leo. But I feel that it's necessary only because you're protecting yourself and you're not trying to rush into anything, though you feel this connection extremely strong. Um, so I feel like there may be some type of temporary releasing or temporary separating or giving each other some space. Um, but once you figure that out or once they figure out their emotions and their state of mind, I feel like there is a possibility of rebuilding this connection into making it something more stable. Uh, and the reason I say that is queen of cups with the nine of pentacles. Should I listen to my mind or should I listen to my heart type of energy going on? Uh, the tower, this was so sudden, um, Maybe I'm not ready. So I feel like ultimately, if there is a temporary separation or like, let's say not communicating as much, it could be because they're trying to figure out themselves. But I feel that it's a positive thing because they're not trying to lead you on. They're not, they want to make sure that they're ready for a relationship. And I feel that that's ultimately how you know that a person is mindful and that a person is mature enough when 
they themselves are trying to figure out if they're ready because they don't want to leave nobody on. So I feel like that's a positive thing. Um, if you're dealing with this, it could be you, Leo, that decides it's too quick, it's too sudden, you kind of back up, but you come to the realization that, yes, I am ready, and you'll soon then give in to this connection. All right, Leo. Now let's go to Old Flame or the X, right? So there is, I feel this person doesn't know what it is that they want. And I think that that played a, a major role in the separation or the breakup. But I do feel them reaching out to you, um, coming back around or wanting to reach out to you. Um, but there is this wanting to promise something that they're not ready to give. So as an example, if your ex comes back around and they're reaching out to you and they're telling you, I've missed you, baby, da, 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 da. We should hang out. We should see each other. I feel like it's passing and it's temporary. So don't go into it with the idea that we're going to be able to go back with each other. We're going to be able to work it out. I feel like it's only a spur of the moment type of thing. They won't be consistent. So if you're, you know, there's no judgment here for some of you guys. If you're trying to have a wild night, go for it. If you're not and you think that they're coming back around because they're being authentic with their feelings, they're not. I think it's just temporary, though they may not want to deceive you. I feel like they just want that physical connection or the feeling of having someone. But then once they have that, they quickly want their freedom again. So don't waste your time is basically what I'm saying. All right, Leos. Now let's go to... Virgo, let's see what's going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. How are my Virgos doing? I hope you guys are doing good. All right, here we go. We have the Three of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. I see communication opening up for some of you guys. There could have been a bit of misfiring in the way you express yourself. It could have been that you took something wrong or that they said something wrong. Um, and it's it was like a, a plain game of like waiting time, basically wanting waiting for them to reach out. But you wanted to reach out and they were feeling the same way. They were wanting to reach out, but they were waiting for you to reach out. Finally, they reach out this week or in the coming week, there is communication that happens. I feel that when this happens, the three of pentacles is going to, you know, the energy of the three of pentacles is going to step in and the three of pentacles is collaborating. It's let's bring, you know, let's bring your cards to the table. Let's bring my cards to the table Let's stop with these mind games and let's just be straightforward and see what it is that we want. Can we get on the same page? I feel like for some of you guys, pride or ego could have gotten in the way. Um, there was someone that definitely felt like they were doing too much. So if you felt like they were the ones that were doing too much, you could have experienced them pulling away or pulling back a bit because they want to see how serious you are about this connection, Virgo. But if it's them... Um, and you were the one that pulled back because you wanted to see how genuine they were with their, you know, feelings or intentions towards you. I feel like in the coming week, you're going to start to see things pick up again the way it was. There is an awkward moment there. I don't know what happened there, but I feel like finally communication opens up and it's very straightforward communication. So, all right, now let's look into your old love here. Wow. Wow. So they are definitely missing you, Virgo. There is a feeling of heartbreak or a feeling of being let down. Uh, being let down because of a habit or something that continuously keeps happening or that continued to happen in this connection. I feel like it has a lot to do with people not being able to, and when I say people, I mean your partner, your ex-partner, uh, not being able to be consistent in what it is that they wanted. Um, or they could have potentially, you could have caught them cheating or talking to someone else, but there is definitely a feeling of remorse here of what was experienced. And I feel like they may be reaching out or you may be hearing from them. 
Um, and it's only because they want to know like if you're still receptive to their energy. But with the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords, um, it is an indication that they may lie their way into coming back into your life. So as an example, they can come to you with this elaborate story about how difficult their life is. And it's not that it's that difficult. They're just over dramatizing it because they want you to feel sorry or pity for them. So uh, my advice, they're not coming with authentic or genuine feelings of like, I effed up let me fix it. Like, no, I feel like it has more to do with boohoo. My life is hard. Look what I've been through. Like, and they expect you to be their emotional support. So don't waste your time, Virgo. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libra. <clears throat> sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Libra. All right, here we go. All right, Libra. We have here the Ace of Cups, the Judgment card, and the Six of Pentacles. So someone recently made up their mind. <laughs> this could be you, Libra, or this could be the person you're dealing with. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with someone that was like half foot in, half foot out. Um perhaps not very like lovey-dovey type of thing. They were more like practical. Um, I felt like, I feel like this connection definitely triggered them. Um, it's almost like a manifestation when you have been wanting or desiring some type of connection and then it happens and you doubt it or you're like, it's too good to be true, yet that's what you've been hoping for, if that makes sense. So there was some type of fear here that was triggered. This could have been you, Libra, or this could be the person that you're dealing with. However, I feel like the decision is being made and they're willing to put in as much effort as you are. The feeling is definitely reciprocated. So if you felt at some point like you weren't sure what it is that they want, I feel like they will be professing their feelings for you and they will be um, giving you clarity in regards to what it is that they want in this connection. They're finally giving and I feel like they resisted for a while. This could be you as well, Libra. So if it is you and you feel like you've been kind of uh, halfway in, halfway out. I feel like in this month, you're definitely deciding this is what I want and I deserve it. So I'm going to give myself the opportunity to be happy, um, which is very positive energy here, Libra. So good for you. Now let's look to old love. So yeah, I feel like there. that's if you guys are not already dealing with someone that reached out to you, an ex-partner, someone you were dealing with in the past. I feel that there was a missed opportunity and they've been watching you. For some of you guys, they've been watching your social medias. Perhaps you've caught them. Um, but there is definitely an open conversation that happens or communication that they reach out. They're very straightforward about it. Um, there was definitely a missed opportunity. I feel like if this is a person, for some of you guys, it could have been not necessarily an ex-partner, but it could have been someone that you were dealing with. Um casually perhaps dating or just getting to know and then something happened where that you know connection stopped uh kind of like when life steps in and it pulls you towards different directions but i feel that person's coming back around and trying to reach out or trying to communicate with you because they're wanting to see if you're still single libra so i definitely do see the ex or the person that you were dealing with still in your energy i feel like they haven't moved on um, and you will be hearing from them in the next coming weeks. All right, Libra. Now let's go to Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you are new. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love and three cards for old flame. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. All right, Scorpio. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> So this connection feels 
like it's been progressively slow and steady and i feel like the reason why it hasn't moved up or not moved up moved towards something more official is because this person that you're dealing with has issues in regards to the past so they're still holding on to hope or they're still holding on to someone from their past it could be that this person is still in communication with someone from their past, an ex-lover, ex-partner, um, and there is a bottom line still hoping to rekindle or reconnect in that connection. So that's the reason why they're not all the way in, or that's the reason why it hasn't progressively moved forward. It's like very, very slow. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that, yes, they're consistent, but it's not really going anywhere. It feels like it's not really going anywhere. And the reason for that is because this person still hasn't moved on from the past. And in my advice, right, from when I see, when I deal with clients that are experiencing something similar, it usually indicates that you're the one that's already falling for them. And if you're already falling for them and they're unsure if they want to fall with you, you're the one that's going to end up caring more and just getting hurt more in the long run. So my advice is, obviously, if you're experiencing this, um, be frank with them and be to the point. You know, sometimes sometimes they need to hear it. Sometimes, hey, I understand that, you know, sometimes relationships are difficult and when it ends, there is a feeling sometimes of like things being left undone or unsaid. And if that's the case, like that's okay, but it just means that you're not fully ready to move on. Um, and that's okay, but I don't wanna be wasting my time. Um, and if they take it as a mature person, then they would be like, well, you know, you're right, or they'll open up or whatever. Um, and if they take it personal and they get offended by it, it's because it's raining truth to them. And that's when you know that's a red flag and you just need to move on from that. All right, Scorpio. Now let's go to the person from the past. So yeah, definitely this person is still missing you, still thinking about you, but it was definitely not a good energy, very toxic energy. I feel like this person has a tendency of reminiscing or reliving the past constantly. It could have been a situation where you could have caught them dealing with someone or dealing with the next partner. And if that was the situation, it just means that they have trouble letting go. It's kind of the person that messes up and when it ends because they get caught up, they're reminiscing about you now when you caught them reminiscing about an ex-partner. You know what I mean? This is the type of energy of a person that never moves on from their exes and they kind of glamorize them or put them in a pedestal only when they lose them. So I feel like this person hasn't moved on from you only because there is a feeling there of like it's a repeating pattern that they continuously like enjoy dealing with people from the past basically like you move on they see you in a relationship that's when they miss you and they reach out and if you entertain that they'll keep entertaining all their exes like from the past 10 years type of fuckery so you just you know move on from this scorpio all right, now let's go to Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love and romance, give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys definitely stay tuned to my channel as we have tons of spell videos coming through for you guys as well as picking up the Tarot Lessons 101 with the, mi with the minors, with the minors, <laughs> minor arcanas. And tons of readings for you guys. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. All right, Saggies, let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, so we have here the Magician, the Star. Wow, 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 Sagittarius. So the Magician with the Star, for some of you guys, you've been really, I feel like some of you guys already made a connection um, with someone that it almost seems to be everything you've ever needed when it comes to relationships, what you look for in a partner. If you haven't experienced this, you're going to be experiencing this in the next couple of weeks, you guys. The magician is the higher elevation of the representation of you. 
So what that means is with the star card, when we're talking about relationships, it's like meaning the higher version of all the partners that you've been with in the past that had, as an example, you could have had three people from your past that you're like, oh, I wish this person had this about this other person and it would be like the perfect person. The magician is here to represent the star card, which is seeing someone as a reflection of you seeing your equal seeing that God is bringing to you, right? That spirit is bringing to you the person that's worthy of you. And you immediately feel that shift when they enter the room or when you first meet them. So this is a higher elevation of connection that is unfolding or that will be unfolding for you guys. For some of you guys, it could have been a missed opportunity from someone from the past. The magician is the manifestation of each other. Like you guys have been missing or wanting and basically bringing each other um, into manifestation, into meaning of the two souls. Uh, so if, as an example, if you haven't met this person, it almost gives me the energy of meeting someone that when you get into a relationship, they express to you like, I prayed every night for someone like you type of scenario. Um, the Magician and the Star hold very powerful energy here, especially with the Ace of Pentacles. This is the beginning cycle of the higher version of yourself, the healed version of yourself, and the solid foundation. Whereas in the past, you could have had strong connections, but the foundation wasn't necessarily strong. The Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning cycle that has the potential and that will become with the Magician and the Star card that will become something solid. So for a lot of you guys, you're going to be meeting or already dealing with someone that you may potentially marry. Powerful energy here, you guys. All right, now let's look into the X. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Swords, and the Strength card. So <laughs> with the Wheel of Fortune... There is a cycle that's happening right now where you're getting clarity about something. You're getting clarity about the person from your past. It could be, you know, certain things that perhaps you had doubts about or you were not necessarily like in the knowing of. There could have been some type of confusion. With the Ace of Swords, though, the clarity becomes very, very like the like the light of the sun, basically. Um, there is clarity that's unfolding. There is truth and honesty that's coming through from this connection or from this cycle that you already ended. So it's almost like giving you the push that you need to understand that you have overcame, that you are strong, and that you are able to continue on your life um, knowing that you did everything possible to either fix the relationship or to make it work and it just didn't work out. It's almost like a validation of the a validation of the hard work that you put in this person from the past and there's no regret there because you're able to move on freely without feeling bad for them because it's like I did everything I possibly or you know finding out certain things about them that they did while they were with you. And it's like, "Oh, I can finally see and I can finally let go." without feeling like things were left undone or like I didn't do enough. So positive, positive energy there. All right, Capricorns. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. All right, here we go, Capricorn. All right, Cappies, let's get into it. You have the Six of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. <coughs> so there was a situation where you felt like you moved on from or like the connection just took a different turn and you were ready to move forward. You were ready to move on. Three of Wands here is signifying to me, especially because what's really standing out for me is the red. <laughs> 
something could have recently ignited the passion in this connection and i feel this person coming back or i feel this person uh reaching out to you capricorn so it could have been that this co this connection didn't really move forward or it didn't progress it could have potentially stopped um but with the six of swords being able to want to move on and the three of wands is waiting for something um it's almost like waiting for the stars to align. And I don't feel like you were doing this consciously. I feel like on a subconscious level, this could have been you or your person where they were waiting for like the perfect timing or even asking the universe to give them a sign. And that recently happened. So the Knight of Swords is like, okay, I made up my mind. I'm coming in and I'm coming in strong. Um, so if there was a feeling of a missed opportunity in this new connection, I feel like there is a revamping of it there is a re-energizing of this connection or in the next coming weeks it's almost like universe is going to bring you guys together so that you may potentially have a second opportunity at that missed opportunity so you guys definitely stay tuned for that exciting <laughs> all right capricorn now let's look at the past we have the three of pentacles the world card and the knight of cups so your person from the past, the ex-lover or ex-partner, is definitely still wanting to come back into your life. But I feel like with the world card, there is an underlying tone of acceptance or coming to accept um, and also coming to accept that uh, perhaps they were seeking others to fill the void but they're quickly coming to the realization that they're just not going to find another you. Uh, there is, like I said, there's still feelings here. They're still wanting to, but also realizing like at this point, it is what it is. Um, I don't see movement. I don't see communication. I just feel like they're bringing it back to themselves. It could be potentially that they're seeing you glowing right now, Capricorn, or that they're seeing you do things that maybe they never thought you would be able to do. Um, so I feel like they're putting the focus back on themselves because they're trying to build themselves up again or they're trying to prove something to themselves that perhaps could potentially make you see them in a different light or perhaps give them another opportunity. But I feel like they're working on themselves to be better or to earn you back is what I'm hearing. So, lovelies. Now let's go to Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to new love and old flame. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for them in love and romance? Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Oh, okay. I'm going to put it back in there. For some of you guys, you have the King of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Okay, the Hermit. Okay, so for some of you, <coughs> for some of you Aquarians, an X is coming back all around. All right, three cards, new love, three cards, old flame. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on, Aquarius. New love, seven of swords, two of wands, and the king of pentacles. I feel like someone's not being honest with each other in this connection, Aquarius. Um, you could have created some type of distance with someone that you were recently dealing with. Um, and I feel that the reason for it is because either you've seen it moving too fast or going too fast into something solid. Um, and they could have frightened you. It could have scared you. It could have challenged you. Um, there is a feeling of, am I ready? Am I ready to give them what they want? Am I capable of giving them what they want? Which is some type of solid foundation here. Um, and this could be you or this could be them. So if you experienced recently like they were pulling back, they weren't 
maybe they came off a bit a bit secretive um and there was consistency and then all of a sudden it stopped i feel like they got scared of really acknowledging their feelings for you or perhaps they felt like they were becoming too accustomed to you that it scared them um but there is some type of like oh shit i totally messed up and there is an energy of like let me revert this let me you know reach out to aquarius let me fix it like uh, i feel like they panicked i'm gonna be honest i feel like it was more of like a panic type of energy um but i feel like they're coming back to their senses they will be reaching out to you and i feel like in the reaching out you guys are able to have conversation and figure out if both of you guys are on the same page and are wanting the same thing um and you're able to move <laughs> excuse me you're able to move forward from that um but yeah, I feel like if you feel, um, sometimes you meet people in this life where the connection is immediate and it feels like home and it just feels amazing. And the more time progresses, the more the, the bond becomes stronger. And sometimes for people that are not necessarily emotionally and mentally there, um, if they don't feel prepared for that, they start to feel pressure and sometimes the pressure makes them scare and run and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing um because sometimes we do need that realization we need to figure out what it is that we want it's better that than for them to lead you on or lead you into thinking they're going to give you some type of higher commitment and then they don't um and they just strung you along so i feel like there is a realization of i effed up let me make it right. Let me come back. Let me reach out to Aquarius. Um, when I was shuffling the deck, I seen the six of cups. I seen the seven of pentacles. So for some of you guys, it could be a person from the past that you were dealing with. Didn't not, Nothing really came from it. But I feel like there is some type of realization and they may be the ones reaching out to you. Um, almost like giving a second chance or having a second opportunity. Now let's look into your past or the X. That's the same card that I got when, when I was shuffling your card. So yeah, there is definitely someone from your past that is wanting to come back around, that is wanting to connect with you, that is wanting to rekindle this connection. Um, if you guys are dealing with someone that has kids or you had kids with the ex-partner, I feel like there's going to be a lot of, a lot of, situations that are going to come up in the next coming weeks where it has a lot to do with the history of that relationship but also with the children involved so it may have something to do with the child where you're having to deal with the baby daddy or with the baby mama um for others of you it could just be as simplistic as the ex coming back around reaching out to you wanting to rekindle or wanting to reconnect uh, it's like understanding or knowing, going within and figuring out that you were everything I ever wanted, Aquarius. How can we make it better? Can we heal? Can we fix it? Um, and I feel like for some of you guys, this is something that's been long in the making. So uh, the ball is basically in your court, Aquarius. All right, my lovelies. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like I said, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more videos. I have tons of uh, readings going up, even spontaneous reading for you guys. Uh, for others of you that are into spell work, we have tons of spells going up as well. And the Cosmo and the planet alignments, uh, the Pluto uh, major transition that's happening. Definitely stay tuned for all that. I want to wish you guys all the very best. I send you all my love and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye-bye.